Okay, it is approaching four in the morning. This is seriously cool. So I've been working on uh, the ability to run a Commodore 64 program uh, from inside C64 OS. So this would be for, uh, for example, launching a uh, scene world as we have here, or launching a game like Sam's Journey. Um, so the way that it works is um, there's a new type of desktop alias which is um, an external PRG alias. And so when you run, when you try and double click one of those, it launches a special utility called the PRG runner. So let's uh, start by doing Sam's journey. So um, it, this opened the PRG runner utility, puts in the name of the program that you're trying to run here. And then this is all metadata that it loads from a special um, alias file just for this program. So it says the source device. It says what device number it's going to get swapped to to run. So initially it, it's on my SD to IEC, which is device 10, but it wants to run from device eight. So it's gonna swap it to device eight before running it. Partition is partition one of the SD to IEC. And then this is the path to where, um, say, the first D64 is going to be found. Ah, but there's a problem. Sam's Journey requires that it be the only device on the bus. And at the moment, I actually have two drives on the bus. So to get past this, I could, for example, um, run drives. And then I could say, turn off one of my drives. Um, and then I could rerun it. Let's check out another one of these. So we'll go scene world. Okay, so in this case, same, same sort of deal. Tells us what joystick port number we're gonna use. So let's actually try launching one of these. So we'll try Neutron pretty cool game. So this is saying device 8, partition 4, this is my CMDHD, doesn't need to swap to anything. Um, path is simple, port 2, we'll just hit run, and there you go. It works, brilliant. Thanks for watching.